Hey, 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 scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a process video for a 12 by 12 layout using some stash busting products. So I'm kind of doing this for um, my 2021 scrap harder challenge. So I'm pulling out the oldest, some of the oldest products I have in my stash. And these are photos of my oldest child um, doing open mic night at school. And the story behind this is pretty epic. And But the photos are not because I wasn't able to be there. So my middle child took um, video and all I had were video stills to scrapbook. So I'm going to make this layout super epic with some mixed media to sort of play up the whole thing so that um, the whole the whole layout is, you know, has that epic feel that um, I think is important for this particular story. Um, Carson taught himself how to play guitar over COVID, like during our COVID quarantine, and then decided to just go up and do open mic night um, and sing on top of <laughs> playing guitar. I was just so flabbergasted and amazed by the bravery it took to do that. And I wish I could have been there, but I was in California when it happened. So I'm thankful that baby brother went and took the video. So I just really wanted to scrapbook this while I had some big emotions about it. So you can see that I used the packaging technique to do some red, blue, and black mixed media on this page. I did the black last. Um, obviously because it's a darker color but also because I wanted to cover up a lot of the color because um, the kid is definitely uh, black prone as far as clothing and moods and uh, it's just who he is he played Iron Man and loves like Black Sabbath and that kind of stuff so I really wanted to put that front and center and make sure I got a lot of black in here, but I also needed some color too, obviously. So I chose to go with red and blue that sort of match the collection that I'm going to be using, which is the Bro & Co collection that I designed for Simple Stories, plus a little guitar from my very first collection for Simple Stories, um, So Rad. So I'm finishing up all of this black painting with some Lots and lots of black spatters with a paintbrush. And you can see my hands are very, very black now. Don't worry, this will slow down in a second. <laughs> so I am um, going to use this Cool Kid vellum, which is also super old in my stash. I've been saving it forever, and I decided to just dive in with it. And I wanted a lot of different textures on this page. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of paper tearing, so I wanted that texture on this page. But I also wanted a lot of different... Um, I have mixed media, I have regular cardstock, I have vellum, and I just wanted a lot of different things going on here just because, again, the pictures do not do the um, event and my emotions about the event justice, so I really wanted to go big here and really do a lot of different things. It gets to be pretty busy in the end. Obviously that background is very busy, so um, it gets to be a little bit busy in the end, but that's okay. Busy is okay with me. I decided to go with that denim paper because um, I wanted a little bit more navy in here, and but I wanted the paper choices that I chose to be plain. So I also pulled in some black and white cards from some recent printable collections of mine. I think they're both from On The Go and Going Slow. I'm gonna take this diagonal stripe one and I'm gonna make it a tag just like this tag. I'm just using it as a template. That way I can sort of fake two tags in the background here. And I'm going to rip it like the other one. We're going for all the paper tears. Sorry, this is a bit fast. This was a very long video. This layout took me a very long time because there's so much going on. So it was either have a 20 minute video or just make it a little bit fast. But that's okay because I'm not doing anything too tricky that you can't replicate because I'm going too fast. <laughs> Okay, so there is the base of the cluster that I'm going to be building. And now I'm going to start pulling in my embellishments. And so initially I just wanted red and blue and black and white. And I, I couldn't make that work exactly. So I do start adding in some color um, toward the end. And it works out fine um, having little pops of like orange and yellow. But 
I really did want red, blue, black, and white in the beginning. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for right now. I am trying to stick with that color palette. And so it makes it a little bit harder and I struggle a little bit with embellishment placement and trying to figure out what I want where um, and what I actually want to use until I finally cave in and I'm like, okay, fine, I'll use different colors too. <laughs> So I do need to add in journaling because I'm really trying to make sure that I tell the story, not just scrap the photo, um, with my scrapbooking nowadays. So I need to ha save place for a journaling card as well. I really should have planned around having a journaling card. I do add it in very last, but that's okay. It works out fine. So I've got this mixtape. I'm going to really play up a lot of the musical embellishments in this collection. So there's a tape and there is there are headphones there are um uh albums so i'm gonna make sure i add in a bunch of those i'm kind of going for a vertical composition with my embellishment clusters to offset the horizontal composition of the rest of the page it's sort of horizontal diagonal because i want to make sure i build up at the top and the bottom just it kind of creates an X which I thought was sort of appropriate too for this um, theme so you can see I've added in that guitar which is a different color blue and orange because the, those are from the so or that is from the so rad collection and it so it has a different color palette than um, the bro and co collection so I, i'm gonna pull an orange from the bro and co collection too i think it'll be fine it's not they're not that different that it's going to bother me but now i need to add an orange so i'm kind of pulling an orange embellishments i really want to make those shoes fit or fit <laughs> uh, work with this page but i struggle with them for a while until the end of the page because i really like that um, checkerboard pattern to match the checkerboard stars since so i only had two checkerboard stars so i'm pulling in the stickers now i always add in stickers sort of last because once they're there they're hard to move so my answer to not pull putting those shoes on yet was to pull in this banner but i will still put the shoes on there eventually <laughs> and then I'm going to pull in some red with this rad pennant. Carson says rad a lot, so I thought that that was appropriate. It's so funny to me that, I don't know, this kid's like stuck in the eight, 70s and 80s, which cracks me up because all the music he loves is from that era and the 70s, or 70s, 80s, yeah. And, and I guess the 90s too, because there's some Metallica in there as well. So these sort of retro themed embellishments actually work perfectly for uh, this child in particular. So <laughs> it works on multiple levels. Still messing with that star. I love how the mixed media goes over a music note paper. I didn't even know I had that paper until I started looking for black and white papers. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I've been hoarding this music note paper forever, which is hilarious to me because we don't... We're, we have a lot of guitars, we have a lot of music, we, like, like, we play, or we, I don't, the boys all play guitar and ukulele and we have a keyboard and Finn is constantly making music, Car or Patrick used to make music on the computer, all kinds of stuff, but I don't consider us musical because we don't really perform or anything, so there's not really a lot of chances to use musically themed embellishments so I was so excited to really get to lay down all of my music embellishments on this page <laughs> so I'm getting close to done here and actually what I'm deciding is that I don't love the how big the black portion is of this paper like it's a little overwhelming to me and what I am going to decide to do after I add in my journaling card is something a little unorthodox and I'm actually going to rip apart this layout top and bottom so that um, I can add in some more of that music note paper and I think it really really makes the page so once I'm done fussing around here I actually try to um, rip the top and the bottom of this specific layout, but it doesn't rip in a way that I like. And I had an extra piece of black cardstock, so I just go ahead and I rip um, the 
some pieces off the top and the bottom of a new piece of black cardstock and I'm going to move everything over. So you can see it doesn't really rip very well. It got a little bit too big. I want something a little um, less obvious than that. So eh, all right, fine. <laughs> I tried. I tried to save it, but it just kept getting bigger. And then I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. There we go. That's better. And I'm going to rip the bottom or the top portion as well. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to adhere this scrap of paper to the top and the bottom and you can see it just peeks out a little bit. It's not a huge difference. Like it's not big pieces of paper at the top and the bottom. So it is so cool and subtle and I love it. And it finishes off this page perfectly. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.